Brendan, the policeman said that you were riding on the wrong side of the road. Mm. So unfortunately, you might be fault. Fault? Fault schmaltz. They can't prove crap. Should have fled the scene you know, next time. Next, next time. time? No next time, Brendan. You could have really gotten hurt. Oh, I... Wait a minute. Where's my bike? What happened? We need to turn around. Brendan, your bike is totaled. Actually, it's it's in my pocket. Here it is. I'm sorry. Great. I mowed lawns for a year to get that bike. I bought you that bike for your birthday. You've never mowed a lawn in your life. That's not the point. Look, I have a concussion, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm not even sure who you are right now, okay? Mom? Uh-huh. Hey, there's another lady in the car. What's this? What's who? Hello. Hi, little Brendan. How's your boo-boo? Hi. Hi, you. Hi. Hi. Um, who's this? Uh, this is Stephanie. This is. I told you that Stephanie was going to come. Hello. Through. Hello. I was picking her up from the airport. Remember, I told uh, you about Stephanie. She's I'm just passing through. Just passing through. We knew each other in college. <laughs> sorority sisters, fight outs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, um, I wasn't in the sorority. That was Isabella. No, no, no. We pledged together. No. You were there. No. Actually, you know, um, we met through Isabella. Remember? Oh, Isabella. Yeah. Oh, Oh, I love her so much. She is the best. Yeah, she sounds great. Which one of you is my mom again? <laughs> Bless you. Wait, I know her. She's my brother. God, I think Josie's coming down with something. I'm probably going to have to take her to the doctor, too. Y you know, I talked to Isabel a month ago. She's still in England with Jacob, and she <laughs> sounded great. I should call her, actually. You should call her. Uh, remember how we used to speak in Australian accents and we'd fool guys at bars? Yeah. Hello, I'm from Australia. Land ho, governor. I don't think I was there when you did that. I'm confused. Are we dropping her off? Due to my unforeseen injury, I regret to announce a slight setback in our current production, the uh, Slapstick Barbarian Project. Mm. Well, can't we um, recast you? Yeah, we can just grab anybody off the street. Hey, if I thought there was another actor out there capable of doing what I do, then, you know, in a heartbeat I would, but but that's not going to happen, and, and we're already halfway finished. It, is the tape in there? Yeah. Here, let's take a look at this and uh, see what we have so far. Ow, 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 ow. So, uh, we got some work to do. What if we wrote funnier dialogue and didn't rely so much on the violence? Yeah. No, right. No, 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 no. I, I think you're right. I, I, jokes. Yeah. Jokes. Yeah, we'll write, yeah. We'll write some jokes. So you guys, get uh, get the pens out. Let's okay. Get the, let's um, get cooking. Let's get, let's get this thing uh, moving. Okay. Brendan, how about you ask Jason what time it is? Uh, okay. Uh, what time is it? Uh, seven-ish. Is that it? Mm, I was hoping that would get you guys started. Let's do this. Okay, I'm a barbarian. So are you, Jason? Oh, I have a good um, joke. Oh, yeah? Okay, let's hear it. If we're both barbarians, right? Yeah, sure. Then I would come up to you and say, um, excuse me, can I ask you a question? <laughs> That's pretty good. Because <laughs> you It's know, kind you of have a play a, on words. A, uh, we both have battle axes. Yeah. All right, I got it. Yeah. And then you're like, what <clears throat> kind of question would you ask me? Right. And I was like, well, I have a lot of questions to ask you. And then you would say, like, well, ask away. And then right. I would say, like, which we get question it. should I ask right. first? We get it. Yeah. And I'm then gonna... Brendan, you would say, well, I don't know, just pick one to ask you guys, I'm right gonna... now. And then I would yeah. say... It's basically you're playing on the word axe, I think. Yes, but for a long time. But you time. don't even have axes. You have clubs. Yeah. Well, you know, this no, is like... Bear... Oh. Yeah. So okay. maybe something about, hey, you want to go to that new club? Right. I don't like that one. Hmm. I'm very spiritual now. Um, I guess I believe that everything happens for a reason, you know? Right, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's karma, too. But I, I have these new Chinese friends now, and they are great. Oh, I'm, I'm, they've taught me so much, so much um, Chinese. Well, yeah, you sound busy. You sound... Oh, I am. Are you kidding? I am. <laughs> Hey, how's your husband? Richard? Yeah. <laughs> He's fantastic. I mean, fantastic. God. Uh -huh. Busy as a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. You know, he's doing, he's, he's doing every, every, everything. How about you? Any men? Oh, no, no, not now. No, mm -mm. God, I haven't seen Richard since your wedding. Wow, that was like um, five years ago? Yeah, five years. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> we should 
should totally go out dancing, you and me. Come on, the story. Yeah, I don't know. I, Brendan's in pretty bad shape. Josie's got a cold. Oh, come on. It'll be like old times. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. I don't hey, think... how often do you see me, huh? Never. You always see really. your kids. That's right. So you're coming. You're coming. We're going. Let's go. No, you know what, Stephanie? I'm Paula? really sorry. Paula. No, oh, no come on. Stephanie. Okay. I don't think so. Oh. Well, that's okay, you know? Um, but you know what? I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go out dancing because I want to. And you should just have, oh, you should go. Well, I will, and I'll be back. Uh, not too late, okay? I'll be back Okay, later. don't All dance right. too much. Hey, I won't. Don't worry. No. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> Thanks, mate. What if, um, Brendan, you, um, uh, you're a barbarian. Uh-huh, I like and it. And I'm a barbarian. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. And then I would come up to you and say, ugh, you are acting barbaric. And then you say, because I'm a barbarian. All right, should and we then try I that? say, like, well, that still is no excuse for you being so barbaric. Yeah, you and then you go. say, um, I can't help it because I'm a barbarian. Jason, I think you got to learn when to stop because you're starting out strong, but then the more you do it, it's not as funny anymore. It comes around. Right. Yeah, and Melissa is not really adding anything, so why are you being so uh, critical? That's part of what I'm trying to help. Okay, well, um... I think we're having. I think what we're having. What does that mean? Actually, we got a lot of stuff. Who's writing this down? I am. So read that last thing back to me and really sell it big. Okay. Jason comes in and he says, uh-huh. "You're acting like a barbarian." Acting like a barbarian. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And then I stopped writing. Okay. That's that right. was. Where, that was that's not where even I think the joke what... is. Because that's where I think the joke is. No, Melissa, the scene went on for no, another because few the, minutes. I know, but the, uh, the hey, irony whoa. of you Brendan, saying she's, to him. Um, d- uh, uh, okay, I think you know what? what I think. I, I, I think, think the I know. Of it is uh, funny. I think I know if you, I don't want my it scenes uh, edited by you, Melissa. Okay. Well, um, this is tough, and uh, I think I hate doing this. I'm going to find out where she keeps the liquor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, do that Australian thing again. You know that? Oh, <laughs> Good day, my uh, soupy old dingo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Uh, uh, keep going. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but... Um, hey, Missy? Hello, Mr... <laughs> yeah, okay. The noise woke up the baby. Oh, um, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is Paula. Hey, Paula. <laughs> okay. Paula. Uh, y- yeah, I hate to do this, but it is 1.30 in the morning. Uh, could you guys possibly call it a night? Oh, night? sure, sure. Oh, uh-huh. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Who the hell is that? Oh, little B. Oh, we woke you up. I'm sorry. Um, actually, the smell of uh, cheap cologne and whiskey woke me up. I just came down to see who's... Well, okay, great then. The night's over. Everybody go to bed. Am I that loud when I sleep? You know, Brendan, learn a lesson from tonight. If you're ever a house guest, don't bring strange men over. I can't make any promises. Well, at least not trumpeteers. You know, it's funny, I remember her being a little less gregarious. What, you mean like in the hips? Do you need some help putting those away? Oh, sure. Thanks. Sure. Ow. Oh, I'm sleepy. Oh, yeah? No, I'll be fine. You know, I, I was hoping to talk to you about that guy you brought home last night. Oh, sure. What? I, I'm not sure if I... Okay, here's the thing, Stephanie. I don't really like exposing my kids to strange drunk men inside oh, here. Well, let me apologize for that. I think I had a few too many you-know-whats. Drinks. Yeah, you guys were loaded. Yeah, I guess I got a little silly, but no more drunk men. I apologize. You can do what you want. Uh, I know, home, I know. But... Okay, okay. I, I, oh, I guess I really messed up, huh? Well, it just, it kind of puts me in a weird place. It and puts you in a weird place? I just kept thinking, what if your husband called looking for you while that guy was here? Whoa. <laughs> okay, Paula, you're about to cross a line. No, I'm not judging mm-hmm. you here. Hey, hey, just please, okay? Okay, hang, hold on to that thought there. Uh, hi, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, I've got a summons here for a Brendan Small to appear in juvenile court. Why? Racketeering. What? Oh, wait, let's see here. Apparently he broke the law by riding on the wrong side of the road and caused an accident. He has to go to court for that? Hey, did I stutter? No, but it sounded like you lisped a few times. Don't make me arrest you.
Brendan, wake up. I am awake. This is how I eat. I'm not going to take your sister to the doctor today, and I'm, mm. I'm not going to be able to take you to your court date. Good. I don't want to go anyway. No, you have to go because they'll throw you in jail. Plus, it'll make me look bad. Hey, let them throw me in jail. I've seen Escape from Alcatraz and The Rock and that Attica documentary and Stripes. No, and Brendan. Goodfellas. I'll find you a ride. You know what? I can't believe I have to defend myself in court for almost getting killed. I learned my stupid lesson. Don't these people have anything better to do than reprimand children? I mean, we're easy targets. You're going to go, and I'm going to find you a ride, because you can't afford any uh, more trouble, Brendan. Um, I can take him. Oh, no. Really? Sure. <laughs> when do you need me to do it? Right after soccer practice, right? Yeah. Thanks, Stephanie. No problem, really. I mean, I, I'd love to help out, okay? I mean, as long as I'm here, right? Right, right. Well, thank you. Yeah, whoopity do, Steph. Thanks a bunch. Brendan, what are you doing? Soccer practice is mm. over. Get out of here. I'm waiting to be picked up, and they're late. Right. What's really going on here, Brendan, huh? You thinking about running away or something? No, I'm not going to run away. Well, let me tell you something. You should. It builds character. Is that a fact? Yeah, I did it. Really? Running away from home is great. Really? Well, the first time I ran away, Brendan, when I was eight, mm -hmm. I wanted to go work on an oil rig. That was my dream. Right. So I pointed myself in the direction of Alaska and started running. How far did you get? I got to the pizza place. Right. But I got a <clears throat> job there. It's not bad. Yeah, and uh, they pretty much raised me, the Greek guy who owned it. Is that true? And I came home about, like, five and a half years later with my new Greek dad <gasps> and my Greek mom and my Greek brothers and sisters and said, this is my new family, introduced them to my old family. How'd the folks take it? We had a party. Yeah, that's a good story. All right, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, get out of here. Where is she? Look, Richard, we have been going over this for over a month. It is my couch. No, it's not. Richard, I bought the couch. No, you didn't buy the couch. I bought okay, the couch. Okay, but I picked it out, Richard. No, you did not pick it. I, I picked out the couch. I picked out the Stephanie, red couch. Stephanie, you didn't have anything to do with this couch. Okay, but I said it was my idea to go shopping. Okay, it was your idea to go shopping. That, that, exactly, that, thank you. You're not getting any of the couch, so get used to not having that couch. I am okay? getting half that couch. You know, maybe I should have gotten you to sign a prenuptial agreement. Excuse because this me? Is, yeah, you heard me right. Maybe yeah. I should have gotten you to sign a prenuptial agreement. You're in an emotional agreement. state right now. I can't even listen to you. I have every right to be in an emotional state. You have made me this way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, everything's my fault. Everything's That's right. Like, you know what? I'm sitting on the couch right now, and I'm loving it. It's my couch. I'm sitting on the couch. I'm laying on it. Richard! Yeah, it's a good couch. <sighs> I got my shoes on the couch. What do you think about that? <sighs> They're on there, and you're gone. <sighs> <sighs> That's for your couch and your stupid car and your golf clubs and your facial steamer and your, your, your deodorizer, your water pick. Your mother's stupid vagina! That's what I'm saying. You get yourself a pet. Like, I have a fish, right? Yeah. It teaches you responsibility, Brendan, which is what you need. Right. It's a responsibility tester, right? Sure. I'll tell you, I've gone through a million fish. Yeah. They all die. Yeah. You know, but you get over it. You get another fish. I mean, there's a billion fish out there for sale in right. stores everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Coach, I gotta ask you a favor. Um, you got a car, right? So you rode down the wrong side of the street into oncoming traffic. What were you thinking, Brendan? Nothing. I, wait, no, I remember. I was I was trying to remember the name of the guy who played Tron in the movie Tron. Uh, you, Brendan, you know, Brendan, you broke the law. You caused an accident. I'm afraid that according to the law, you have to be punished. Punished? Are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. well, I think that's absurd. That, that's what I think. Well, my client is trying to say, Your Honor. Who is this? Look, I told you you could come, but you couldn't talk, okay? Well, trust me, I've talked myself out of a million of these no, things. Just, no, just don't. Do not talk. Just shut up and let me handle this, Brendan. Shut up. Brendan, is this your guardian? I don't know. Uh, John McGurk, Your Honor. Have I seen you in court before? Yes, several times, but that's not important, sir. What's important is that my retarded nephew is innocent. I'm not retarded. Yes, you are, Brendan. Now, shut up. Uh, Your Honor, during the day of the accident, Brendan was suffering from a s severe bout of, of mentally challenged stuff. What are you doing? Mistrial, Brendan. Also, Your Honor, uh, Brendan was suffering from dementia, which uh, was passed down to him from me. No, wait, no. I don't even know where I am right now, Your Honor. I, hit, well, I was hit by a car. No, oh, you were hit by... Right. So so what are you telling me here? Well, that Brendan was hit by a car and that, that it was uh, his fault. You'd make a fantastic lawyer. Now listen, uh, we're not disputing who's at fault here. We have an eyewitness and police reports. What I'm doing is deciding an appropriate punishment. That's the phase of the, uh, of the trial we're in now. Your Honor, might I suggest a spanking on his tush All right, that's it. Another word out of you, and you'll be held in contempt. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. 
Anyway, Brendan, I'd like to start off by... Oh, Bruce Boxleitner. Brother. What did I tell you, mister? No, I'm just saying Bruce Boxleitner was the guy in Tron, Your Honor. Oh, right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Now I can sleep. Great movie. So you tell me. Now, please! Uh, ahead, of time. Time. ahead of its time. Now listen to me. Brendan, I want you to write mm. an essay detailing exactly why what you did was illegal. Oh, man. Yes, yes. And if it's good, maybe I'll let you off the hook. This court is a mockery. And you there, McGurk, I'd like you to write an essay, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hello, Your Honor. As you can see, I've decided to make a video essay in place of a written essay. And uh, you know, trust me, this will be better, because my penmanship is atrocious and my spelling is terrible. Anyway, here's my punishment, and I hope you like it. I love this new car. Me too. Do you know what else I love? What's that? You. Yeah. We should run over some children. Yes, let's go kill children. Yeah. Look, there's one riding towards us now. Well, put your seatbelt on. Let's see what this baby can do. Oh, God, I love my mother and the country and the judicial system. I really love all that stuff. No! <laughs> You come here, you bring some stranger into my house, you say you're going to pick up Brendan, and you don't. Then you you break all my plates? What is going on here? I'll replace the plates, no, okay? No, you know what? Here's the thing. You need to tell me what's going on. What? I'm a screw-up, okay? Is that what you want to hear? Yes. No. I mean, I'm no. a screw-up. No. I can't do anything right. No. I can't balance my checkbook. No. I spend too much. Uh, no. I'm clumsy. Maybe. Apparently, I'm stupid, too. He even hates my lasagna. What do you mean? Richard? Yes! Is he still alive? Yeah, hey, go in the um, trunk hot stuff and go get Daddy the bat. Sure thing. We'll finish him off. Hey, hey, oh, hey, not as hard. Well, I'm trying to kill you. No, no, no. Okay, that's it. Ow, 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 ow. Stephanie, you could have told me about the divorce. I know, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I had to get out of town, you know? I mean, the, the stress was killing me. It, it's his fault. It's his fault I acted like an ass around here. Who cares whose fault it was? Look, you can do one of two things. You can cry like a baby and ruin your own life and everybody's life around you. Or you can try to move on. <laughs> but Richard... Richard's a jerk. Look, you're acting like a victim, and you are not a victim. Say it with me. I'm not a victim. No, wait for me, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Say it with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. I'm, I'm not, not a victim. victim. I am a victim, not them. They were encased in steel. I only had my flesh encasement of flesh. They should have to write essays. They should be punished. Hit it, boys! Don't kill children. Don't run them over. Let them live their life. Let them get older. Don't kill children. Don't run them over. I've seen enough of this. Brendan, I am very disappointed in you. You blatantly fabricated contemptuous materials and made a mockery of this court. Mm. You realize you're going to have to be punished again. W w wait No, a Brendan, you won't talk yourself out of this. I want you to spend the next four months working weekend community service. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't think he's kidding. And these nice folks have an estimate for the car accident. Here. Give me that. Here, take this. $900? You have got to be kidding. I don't think they're kidding. Brendan, you're going to have to help me with this. Yes, Brendan. And I don't want to see you around here again. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Look, I'll do the community service, and Mom, I'll help pay you back for the car damage. But, Your Honor, I want you to know this. I have learned absolutely nothing. Good day. Brendan. I believe I said good day. again when Isabella comes back into town. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it would be great. It would be marvelous, mate. Kangaroo, boomerang, you know? <laughs> yeah, I never did that thing with you guys, remember? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, seriously, Paula, thank you. Are you sure you don't need to stay longer? Nah, I really, you know, better get back. I've got a lot of stuff to sort through. Well, I hope everything goes smoothly. I really do. Mm. Oh, that's my cab. <laughs> thank you again. Okay. Whoa, okay. Goodbye. All right. <laughs> Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie, you forgot your, uh, hey. you have been in there the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right.
Sammy, guess who's home? Daddy's home. <laughs> who's hungry, huh? I am. So I'm gonna eat in front of you while you just lie, lie there. Sammy? Little guy? Sammy, talk to me. She's just sleeping, right? Wake up! Sammy, wake up! Oh, my God, Sammy, what am I gonna do with you? Maybe bury you in the backyard. Or, um, I don't know, what do you do with a dead fish? I don't know where to... Maybe I'll put you in a little box or something, and I'll drive you out to the... Hold on, I'm coming. John McQuirk? Uh, no, McQuirk lives next door. I'm John McGurk. Who wants to know, you? I'm afraid you're gonna have to come with me. For what? Murder one. Huh? Oh, hold on. Apparently you failed to turn in an essay that was due earlier today. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, no, I, I, I thought he was kidding. Afraid not, sir. Oh my God, this isn't my day. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used oh, against no. you. Oh no, no, no! Sammy! <laughs>